It's a beautiful morning out at the Oregon Garden, and I'm in the children's garden with Jeff. And Jeff, what are you uncovering there? I've discovered a dinosaur <laughs> in the dino pit. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Now, this is a feature that's been at the Children's Garden since the opening of it, but you've been responsible for some new additions to the Children's Garden. Absolutely. I think this is a great fun, but I thought the Children's Garden needed more things for children to do, interactive. So I've added some new pieces to the garden that are other, great other things to discover. Well, I know we saw the Hobbit House a few weeks ago, and that is just a cute little kind of tunnel there. Thank you. What a fun little kind of kid-sized little way to get through the garden. Yeah, and you know, anytime I hear laughter coming from the garden, I I know kids are running across the Hobbit house. If I'm working in another section and I hear screams and yells, <laughs> I know kids are on the Hobbit house. You know, there's very cool plants here that are kind of kid-friendly and interesting things, and there's like pint size kind of interactive things, but you're gonna be doing a couple more things. Sure, I've already got some done. I'd like, love you to discover those too. Well, let's go over there. Okay. Jeff, this is a great tree house. It kind of reminds me of that great story, Swiss Family Robinson. Well, thanks. That's what we were trying to do here. This is a great willow tree. I love the texture and the mm -hmm. curliness of it. So we tried to spotlight it by putting a tree house around it. Plus, it gives another great thing for kids to climb on and do and play on. Yeah, so one more addition. True. And you have a house, and then you also have fixtures. You have toilets and exactly. pianos. Well, and <laughs> once you have a house, you have to have all the things that go with a house. So we planted, we took ordinary household items and made them into planters. <laughs> so kids can relate to a toilet and a sink and a piano, and then to see it as a planter just gives them a chuckle. And I love the topiaries near the entrance, and those are just so cool. They're shapes. There's, um, they're just like junipers uh, trimmed into plant into shapes. Exactly. Again, you know, trying to have kids relate to plants. Mm -hmm. Now they can see something that they know what a teddy bear looks like, but right. to see a plant look like a teddy bear is a, is a great kick for them. So ah. it's just one more addition. And I know that you have more plans for the future, and I think that trains in a garden, I think that's a great idea. Absolutely. We're, we've got, uh, we've partnered with a train club, and we're going to be building a train garden as soon as we can get the funding for it. Um, and that'll be another, just one more fun thing to play with. Well, I think for all ages, it's not just kids, because I think grandparents and parents and all just kind of people love trains. So what a great addition. And you're just looking for just a little help, volunteers, maybe some um, donations to kind of make that happen. Absolutely. We can, we can make it happen as soon as we get the funding for it. So we're just trying to raise the dollars. And I think we'll probably turn it into a senior project to ah. another way to get kids involved in it, um, have them actually build it. Oh, so when we get the money, it'll be done. All right. Well, we'll come and see you next year, and hopefully it'll all be finished, and we'll get to just see that go. Hope so. Thanks. Thank you, Paul, so much for all this information. Please come out to the Oregon Garden. It's open every day, and you can just kind of check out all the new additions to the Children's Garden. Thanks so much. Sure.